think, Adam, it would be really helpful for me to explain what a person looks like when they are ready for a divorce. Go for it. And I'll tell you that if somebody's coming into my office and they're fighting, they're not ready. They still have too much. Um, I know a person's ready when they're, they're completely calm and they're ambivalent. They're not calm, happy, but they are calm, you know, somber, but they, they don't have a lot of, you know, um, ego of I'm going to show you up. I'm going to divorce you so you'll be in pain. I want to, I want to show you what it feels like to be, to hurt the way I'm hurting. So um, when a person is doing, is coming into the divorce process because of them, and not because of a revenge or, or something like that, uh, uh, then there is a sense of um, when they're completely owning the divorce. I want the divorce for me. And I don't need the other person to hurt, but I, I'm done. That's when I know that, okay, the, this person's ready. So it sounds like if they did the right kind of work with the right kind of marriage counselor, then they had this clarity um, um, that there, there shouldn't be a question um, as to you know, what the right, right way of proceeding is. Yes, when they're able to connect to a deep place inside them where there is stability and the answer from that place, from that authentic place comes, this marriage is not for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Then the, the answer is coming from such a true place within them that they are able to make all of the decisions and take all of the action towards it. And whatever, you know, every action has pros and cons. So when the cons come in the way of taking the action for the divorce, they don't mind because they know that this decision is so representative of who they truly are, that they're able to jump through all of those hoops and keep doing that because they know that this is, they, they can't do anything else. They're mm -hmm. not doing it to show someone up. 